Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I put out a video. Um, geez, it might be since the uh, since the corduroy enduro. Um, so it's it's been a little bit. Decided to take a bit of a um, not a break, but just kind of get away from kind of long edits and and focus more on some content for Instagram and some shorts here on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'm still trying to post uh, regularly, but it's winter. Uh, well, it's supposed to be winter here in Ontario, and uh, we've been getting some fantastic weather. A little bit of snow up my way, but I run some studded tires, which I'm going to show you, and then a little bit of footage here. Yeah, if you want to extend your season, uh, studded tires are certainly the way to go. If you look back on my channel, years ago I had a snow bike, and I actually sold that kit uh, when I got my uh, 300 over here. Uh, because I wanted to do some suspension and stuff, uh, some work to it uh, for racing. Of course, I got my 350 here in the background. That's the bike that I have studded currently. But it, it's working a treat. It's uh, it's doing quite well. And um, certainly the four-stroke fuel injection um, is running a heck of a lot better in the cooler temperatures than the 300. And even though the 300 has a smart carb on it, it uh, still tends to uh, need some adjustment when the temperatures really dip. I mean, we're talking, you know, in Ontario, it can be it can be 30 degrees Celsius, of course, um, which is quite warm in the summer. And it can be, you know, minus 20, minus 30 uh, or below in the winter. So um, quite a big difference. And, and to ask any carb to include a smart carb to be able to adjust all of that, I think, is a bit too much. But anyway... Uh, I want to show you the bike here and the studs and go over that a little bit, a little bit of riding footage and get back to making some videos here for YouTube. All right, so there's the 350. Uh, I'm just using my phone to video uh, today. There's the ATV with the plow on it. Um, there's the snow blower. So, of course, uh, up here in Canada and in Ontario specifically, you need some winter tools. But there's the 350. God, it's still looking so good. And there are my tires now. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there of people who stud their own tires. I did not do that. So these tires are Michelin AC10 studded tires from factory, I believe. I bought them secondhand years ago now, at least, gosh, at least two years ago. And I've put a little bit of, you know, mileage on them. Not a whole lot, actually. Actually, last winter I didn't ride them at all because of where I was for work, but... Uh, we're getting back to it this year um, and the year before that I rode them a little bit so they're not ice racing tires that's for sure they're they're not designed for you know wide open lake or anything like that and you can see some of them are starting to get worn down but they are certainly uh, great for you know frozen ground single track a little bit of snow a little bit of ice you know iced up logging roads they're absolutely they're just a hoot you can full pin you know, you can wheelie the bike with these things. So they're absolutely great. So these studs, I believe, are the type of studs that are, are put in with a like an actual studding gun. Like I said, I, I believe it's OEM from the factory. So these are not eye grip studs that are screwed in. And I need to see um, in the future as some of them really start to get worn down, like this one's almost completely gone, if I'll be able to replace them. Uh, I have no idea if I'll be able to replace them. I would love to be able to just kind of keep, keep running this tire. The knobs almost get zero wear at all. It's just really the studs. So I would love to be able to keep running this tire. So we'll see how it goes. But here's some riding footage. I won't put a whole lot, but just some stuff, you know, to show you what I get out and, and am able to do, you know, on these tires, on this setup. And the 350 is, you know, rocking the winter. Loving it. I have some handlebar not not heaters not electrical heaters but kind of the big mitts over there but it's not quite cold enough to need them yet and um uh, in all honesty uh i don't really like having my hands um inside them if i absolutely don't have to so anyway enjoy the footage stick around hoping to do some gnccs um and maybe a few other races here starting as early as february so really looking forward to it so again motor valley enduro didn't go anywhere. Uh, the videos are going to come back. Thanks for everybody who keeps uh, subscribing and following along, specifically on Instagram um, and the shorts here on YouTube. But uh, we'll get back to it. Keep the rubber side down.